Hi, everybody. This is Giorgio Valentini, the coordinator of the Master Degree in Computer Science. I would like to say that studying computer science is an excellent choice since information technology and the digitization of all economic sectors are a fundamental lever for innovation and the transformation of society. By using the uh, words of Ursula von, von der Leyen, the president of the European Commission, um, um, Ursula von der Leyen said that at the heart of our work is the need to tackle the climate, technological, and demographic changes that are transforming our societies and our way of life. The European Union must lead the transition to a healthy planet and a new digital world. That is, new digital world. And of course, um, it is in this process, it is important information technology and computer science for the digitization of all economic sectors. And um, this is also witnessed from the next generation EU program by, by which uh, an important part of this program is about the digitization of all economic activities. So computer science is an excellent choice, but also studying computer science at the computer science department of the University of Milan is an excellent choice because our department, department C is characterized by, by research excellence in the main disciplinary areas of information technology. And this reflects on the master's degree computer, in computer science because these, the, the courses of this master's degree are linked to the most innovative research activities of our department. And the collaboration with research center at universities in Europe and, and all around the world enable students to, to be involved in collaboration with research centers and cutting edge companies in the information technology sector, in, in the industry, or in advanced tertiary sector and in healthcare. And I would like to say that also we are among the largest Italian computer science department and we provide a very large spectrum of courses in, in on, for the master degree in computer science. And these enable uh, the students to work uh, and, and have also research experience in the, new, in the different laboratories of our department. Here there is a summary of the main laboratories that are available in our computer science department. In practice, they cover all the main research areas and activities in, in computer science, ranging from security, privacy, data protection to uh, well algorithmics or um, information music also, uh, Internet of, of Things, for instance, and also uh, about uh, uh, information uh, systems and the knowledge management, and also about the bioinformatics and computational biology. Then, very recently, also we have a new laboratory in artificial intelligence and the learning algorithms. Um, but what are the main objectives of our course? Uh, the two main objectives uh, consist in acquiring the fundamental knowledge and skills to adapt to the rapid evolution of computer science and information technology. And on the other hand, know, knowing how to apply computer skills in the various sectors of the economy and societies. So we have, we are focused both on the methodological and fundamental aspect of, of, of computer science, but also in the most important cutting edge application of computer science in all area of economy and, and, uh, and society. But what we mean for knowledge skills? Knowledge in all the main area of computer science, ranging from algorithms, software development and design, information systems, architectures and networks, artificial intelligence, machine learning, processing of signals, images, data analysis, and so on. Um, about uh, the, the courses and the, how it is articulated in the different uh, uh, teaching courses, uh, we have a program that basically, um, in which basically basically the courses are free choice for, for the students. 
only with some general constraints of choosing between four main sets of courses as described in the program description in this general manifesto of, of, the, of the studies in the, for the master degree in computer science. Uh, we have a first set uh, in which the students need to choose between uh, um, about 10 courses. You choose uh, you, you need to choose uh, three courses for 18 credits. And there are two other sets uh, from which to choose from 30 to 36 credits in the first one, collecting about 45 different courses. And another set in, from which the students need to choose from 12 to 18 credits between 22 courses. And also are available other courses provided uh, by our universities that can be chosen by the, by the students. And also the thesis, the final exam is very important because it accounts for about 39 credits. In particular, um, uh, as we have two types of training courses. The first one is free a free program, that is, the students can freely choose any course, choosing all, uh, considering only these constraints that, that, that I explained some, some minutes ago. Um, but we have also 10 predefined guided programs by which we can try to help uh, the students to choose in, uh, uh, in a very informative way Ha, uh, the different courses according to specific um, uh, research line or for or for, or the specific discipline more 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 precisely according to specific disciplinary lines. Uh, here are listed the courses, the so-called characterized courses. From these 10 courses, the students need to choose three of these courses. And the study program is subdivided into two typologies, free program and guided program. And I would like to focus now mainly on the guided program. What are the, the different uh, uh, guided study programs? These are 10 different study programs, program, programs that can be chosen by the, by, by the students in particular, algorithms and fundamentals, analysis and optimization, artificial intelligence, music information science, methods and models for software design, and, 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 and so on. There is a lot of different. I would like to spend some words to try to describe from a very general standpoint. I, of course, I have no time to enter the the details of the of, of the study programs, but only to depict the main characteristics. By starting with uh, algorithms and fundamentals, uh, this program is about the theoretical and the algorithmic aspects of computer science. So uh, there are uh, some general methodological courses about, for instance, theoretical computer science, algorithms and complexity, mathematical logic or advanced programming, and others that correspond to different sectors uh, that can be um, more deeply studied about algorithms or operation research or formal methods and so on. Another program is about analytics and optimization. Most of our courses are in English. There are also some courses in Italian. But there are some programs that are given entirely in English. And one of these programs is analytics and optimization. Analytics and optimization is about decision supports methods, mathematical models, and optimization algorithms. It is a, that is, there is a particular focus on these aspects of computer science. And in particular, there are also in this case, some fundamental courses and characterizing courses such as heuristic algorithms or 
intelligent or business process engineering uh, that are focused on optimization and analytical techniques. The third part of the program is about artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is about the theoretical and methodological foundation of artificial intelligence, but also about the developments and the application of uh, this very important discipline the, within computer science to uh, the main sectors of economy focusing on the scientific, methodological, technical, and technological aspects. Industry and business informatics is another program entirely given in English. Uh, this is focused on modeling and, uh, and, and processing information about activities of, of organization and, uh, and, and, and people in order to manage complex system, in particular for the analysis and management of business processes and the management of the territory and public administration, considering for instance the public administration or, or health or the, the environmental monitoring and management of services. Um, another uh, program that characterizes our computer science department is music information, information science, there is a long tradition in these uh, studies, and, and uh, the, these provide a background and, to, and to our knowledge of, of multidisciplinary methods and technology for sound investigation and music computing. There are also uh, no, no, not only uh, student in, in uh, computational musicology, but also in industrial application uh, of, uh, um, the, uh, of music uh, information. And also there are here general methodological courses and fundamental courses ranging from audio pattern recognition program for music, uh, digital signal processing architectures and programs. <laughs> Of course, we are a computer science department and are, of course, important methods and, mo and uh, models for software design development. Here in this program, we try to focus on software de development in order to study methods and techniques and technologies for efficient software production. And there are also some general methodological courses and fundamental courses and prioritizing courses by which the students will be able to uh, learn the main methods and, and techniques for the design and development of the software in um, using all the modern and the more advanced techniques. A another interesting problem is about mobility and pervasive computing because now, the integration of processing of context data obtained from sensor on, on board mobile devices uh, is very important. And their integration through the so-called Internet of Things, the, that is these uh, uh, very large uh, net uh, of uh, computing resources that are connected through internet is, is important. And we study in particular how to exploit these resources for uh, studying, for instance, uh, application of uh, uh, mobile device in different areas from uh, ranging from health to an environmental uh, monitoring and so on. Um, Another program is a, uh, it is very particular is about perceptual computing. It is about, about the interaction, not only interaction between human and machine, but also interaction between human beings and environments from a more general standpoint. From this standpoint, there will, um, in this program, the students will study ana analytical techniques of classical signals, ranging from audio, images, video, and, and so on, but also behavioral and, emo and emotional signals used by human beings for nonverbal communication. There are also some, for instance, characterizing integrative courses, some, such as affective computing or, um, um, or biomedical signal processing that are important for, for this period. Uh, Another important program is about predictive modeling and data science. 
we are in the era of big data in which different technologies are able to generate a lot of data, the so-called big data, and that we need the particular computational techniques to analyze it and uh, to manage this big data uh, with also the objective to develop predictive models using machine learning and artificial intelligence in order to, syn uh, to synthesize predictive models. And finally, um, we have also a program uh, uh, that is very specific for video game for the design of video games and also for the programming and uh, for the architecture of, of video games. This is a big industry with a lot of, of perspective of um, um, for, for working in, uh, in this area. But, so this is a very general picture of, of, of the main program that are available in, uh, within the within the master degree in computer science, but we have also uh, you have also the possibility of studying abroad using the programs of Erasmus Plus. We have contacts with more than fifty U European universities, and you can also follow courses for about thirty credits. And also we have also other possibilities and grants for periods of, of studies. Of the thesis and, and the book. I would like also to spend some words about the uh, possibility of the employ the, the, the employment of opportunities that are offered by, by master's degree that confirm the growing weight of information technology in the so-called knowledge society. Indeed, we mo uh, we most uh, of, if not all the uh, um, uh, the, the, the students that finish these courses uh, of the master degree in computer science can found and um, can found an employment uh, within one one year. So, but uh, the average time into uh, to enter into the the labor market is very small here is referred to about four fifth months but four or five months but in practice for current graduates the employment is practically immediate <laughs> i would like to finish to to uh, to show uh, to show to you some contacts that that can be useful for further information and help about the president of the academic board and the, the coordinator of the master's degree, that is myself, and also the guidance tutors to which you can also um, ask some specific things about the course. Um, there are also more information available on the web about the master's degree in computer science. Of course, you can consider the, uh, the, the site of the university about the master's degree. Uh, the study program that uh, are presented more in detail uh, at the, this site. Also, the guidance site, this, the, the, the so called orientamento site, this guidance site, that is uh, useful for, for, for the students. And in particular, here is the link for in the International Students Office. Here are the emails and other contacts, useful contacts for the different commission that are, uh, for instance, for the study planning and, and program or for the master degree thesis and so on. And you can also send an email and to organize also some, uh, also if necessary meeting with the commission in order to discuss some uh, problem that you may have during your uh, studies. Finally, so we look forward to foreseeing you in our department, um, in which you will find state-of-the-art classrooms in the laboratories and a large teaching staff capable of covering all the main areas of information technology. You will find a, a dynamic environment for studying work in collaboration with the researcher teams of the department, uh, many times also in collaboration with international international collaboration. And also from, uh, you will have a secure employment opportunities in our area of information technology. 
and at the end, you have also the possibility to continue your studies with a PhD in computer science. So I would like to thank you for your attention and uh, see you in the next month in our computer science department. Bye-bye.